It's critically important because if you look at their networks, uh, they basically built themselves as a hardware-based network. And so they don't necessarily have all of the expertise now to do all of the interop required in a completely cloud-based system. So by predefining these different interoperability sets and going through all of that work together, we're able to offload the carrier from having to do all of that complex interoperability themselves. And from a vendor community standpoint, it helps us as well because it speeds time to market and gets that transition going faster. As service providers go out and buy VNFs, they are uh, mixing and matching and they have to play integrator. Integration is not something that operators particularly relish having to do. Uh, it's, a, it's very expensive, it's a lot of work, and when things don't work out, you have to manage among various vendors. Well, it gives them peace of mind, so when they're ready to deploy a system, they know that it's already working, it's been tested, and there's nothing they need to worry about, it's ready to go. So it's about speed, you know, it's about speed. How fast can I actually deliver those, uh, those applications to the operators? And they don't have time and now to even test those things. It used to be like, you know, nine months to kind of two years of validation cycle. Now it's like two days sometimes. More testing you do, more pre-packaging and pre-building and validation you do, uh, it helps them to kind of get revenue faster. NFE brings so much promise. I mean, we've all been talking about for the last four years, the OPEX savings and the CAPEX savings and the new revenue potential. And yet, it almost seems like, I mean, with all of the promise and development, there's still a little bit of a pause button here and there, right? Things aren't progressing and, and that is because people yet need to get comfortable with the performance and reliability of these uh, NFV networks and, and services and uh, ensure that at least their equivalents are better than the physical counterparts. The service providers don't have to work through all of those. As it is, they have a, a, a great amount of work to do to bring the entire overall end-to-end -end solution together to be able to deploy and, and monetize these services quickly. So the last thing they need is uh, them trying to put the different, so to speak, uh, uh, jigsaw puzzle together uh, uh, before they can actually go deploy these services. So the idea is that you do all of this in a pre-validated uh, context so that they don't have to do this.